everybody, and welcome back to another Wheel of Time video. Now, it's been a long week for those of us here in the U.S., but now that that's all over, at least for now, let's get back to some Wheel of Time TV show news. Now, there isn't a ton to talk about in terms of the number of stories, but what there is to talk about, I think, is rather interesting. So today's video is brought to you by my patrons over on Patreon. Ad revenue on YouTube is kind of like up and down and extremely erratic this year, and with the launch of a new website and investing back into the channel, my patrons have been super, super important about keeping the channel running. We're still looking to raise enough revenue to bring on a couple people part-time on thegreatblight.com. So if you love the content and you want to support the channel, please consider checking out my Patreon. I'll have more on that at the end of the video. We'll talk a little bit about how you can help, even if it's not financially. Also, if you haven't heard, I am starting regular streams on Twitch where we're going to be talking Wheel of Time. We're going to do interactive trivia, play some games, just chat, talk about movies, talk about other things. We'll be working on Wheel of Time maps, all of that for you guys to be able to tune in. You can check all of that out on my Twitch, which is twitch.tv forward slash Nablus. Make sure to follow to be notified when I'm live and when I'm streaming. You never know, you might win something. Today's video is going to carry a spoiler rating of green, meaning there are going to be no spoilers of any kind. You should feel free to watch this video, whether you have read any of the Wheel of Time books or not. So there are really two main stories that I want to cover in this video. I want to start with the one that I find to be more exciting, and that is Brandon Sanderson's recent comments about the Wheel of Time on his YouTube channel. Now, first of all, if you love Sanderson and you aren't following his YouTube channel, you really should be. It's just him being authentic, talking about writing, talking about his own work. And honestly, I think it's really refreshing. I don't know why, but I've always loved Brandon Sanderson's communication style. I feel like what you get from him is like the unadulterated truth or his opinions. He always is just super honest, and I love that. I'll have his channel linked in the description of the video. But on his channel, Brandon does videos where he addresses fan questions, and he just basically goes into long videos about the answer. Now, he was asked whether he would ever write more Wheel of Time again, and he answered in a very beautiful and very informative way. I actually learned quite a bit more about the whole story about how he got the job of writing Wheel of Time and some of his views on continuing the series. Now, I'm not going to get into even a fraction of what he talked about in his video, so make sure to go watch that video in its entirety. But again, I'll have that video linked in the description of this video. But I do want to hit on a few things that I found super interesting and pertinent to the Wheel of Time going forward. For one, he starts his answer about whether or not he will write more Wheel of Time by retelling the story of how he was selected to write it at length. Now, I've heard this story before many times, but I think this was much more detail than I had heard before. Again, watch the video for the full thing, but one major thing of note that came out from this is that Brandon was considered to finish the books next to one other major author that would have totally changed Wheel of Time, in my opinion. That author was none other than A Song of Ice and Fire author George R.R. R. Martin. Apparently, Harriet had briefly considered approaching him to finish the books, but she decided against it after realizing that George R.R. R. Martin's fans would completely revolt against him because his own work was not even remotely finished. And even at that point, it was taking a long time for him to finish books. This is way back before the show. Think about how bad it is now. Again, that was, again, 2007. You think he would have gotten in trouble if he had uh, finished these books before he had started his own? We'd probably never even have the finished series by now anyway. He'd probably still be writing the first book, so who knows. But I think this was the right decision to ask Sanderson over Martin. But imagine how that would have changed things uh, if George R.R. R. Martin, who's a really good friend of Robert Jordan, had finished the books. For one, the style's quite different, uh, and I wonder if we would have gotten a much grittier ending to The Wheel of Time. I could speak for me and say that despite the differences in style between Robert Jordan and Brandon Sanderson, I think that Sanderson did about as good of a job as could have been expected for somebody to do finishing somebody else's work. I think aside from pacing differences, they have similar writing styles, at least in the voice that they write with. Now, for George R. R. Martin... I feel like we would have gotten a darker ending, perhaps more main characters dying. Not necessarily that that would have been a bad thing. I'm curious what you guys all think of that possibility and what you think the work would have looked like had George R. R. Martin written it. But also of note in Brandon's answer in his video, he addressed whether or not he would write more Wheel of Time. Now, I'm not going to answer that question here. You can watch the video to get his actual answer to that question. But one thing that did stand out here was that he mentioned Tom Doherty from Tor Books, which is the publishing company that publishes Brandon's books and The Wheel of Time, thought that they should write more books. Now, that's significant to me because I think the, the fact that there were conversations about continuing to write more Wheel of Time 
and Brandon essentially saying, hey, it would have been up to Harriet whether or not that would happen. That's interesting. We do know that Robert Jordan had planned a few outrigger novels, like one with Matt and Tuon, and I've explored this topic in another video and speculated on what good outrigger stories within the Wheel of Time would be. I will have that video linked in the description. You can probably see it here somewhere right now. But the reason I feel like this is worth mentioning that is if the show is a success, I wonder if there's going to be pressure to create more Wheel of Time content and push them out through another author or, or Brandon or whoever. Robert Jordan wasn't ever a fan of others writing in his world. And actually, up until the final months of his of his life before he died, he didn't want anyone to finish the Wheel of Time but him. But he relented and then wanted Harriet to decide and trusted her to make all the decisions. So would you want to see more Wheel of Time written by another author other than Robert Jordan? Let me know in the comments of this video. So that takes us to the second story, and that is one that has been circulating around the Wheel of Time community for the past week. According to WattSeries.com, one of the leading Wheel of Time news websites, the production of the Wheel of Time television show has been shut down due to complications with the coronavirus in the Czech Republic. And it is not expected that they will return until April of 2021. Now, at its face, this sounds horrible for all of us because we all want to see a finished season one of The Wheel of Time. But there has been other information that has come to light. Man, I've got certain information, all right? Certain things have come to light. And, you know, has it ever occurred to you that instead of... Uh, you know, running around uh, uh, blaming me, you know, given the nature of all this new shit, you know, it, it, this could be a, a, a lot more uh, 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 complex. I mean, it's not just, it might not be just such a simple, uh, you know? What in God's holy name are you blathering about? Well, I'll tell you what I'm blathering about. I've got information, man. New shit has come to light. So let's first run through the timeline and get and all the information as it was presented and the order that it came in. And then I'll run you through what I make of all of it and what it might mean for the show. So let's rewind back to November 1st, which seems like absolutely months ago. Uh, the director for the final two episodes of The Wheel of Time, Kieran Donnelly, posted to his Instagram a picture of him in the airport with the caption, Time to Go Home, indicating that he was done with filming. Now keep in mind, he's the director filming the last two episodes. Then, on November 2nd, as I mentioned, WattSeries.com reported that the filming of The Wheel of Time had halted. Their sources, which they have multiple, reported that there were no reasons given for the shutdown, but it could be assumed that it was related to the worsening COVID conditions in the Czech Republic. Now, I mentioned this in one of my past news videos, that COVID has been rapidly climbing in the Czech Republic, and that that could jeopardize the production. So that was the news coming out of the weekend. So at this point, the news was circulating and people were obviously upset that the show was going to be delayed. We were thinking we might not even get it in 2021 now. Then on November 3rd, the narrative changed a little bit. Daniel Green talked about the news on his episode of Fantasy News, where he had reached out to his sources and they had told him that it was not shut down due to COVID, but rather they had finished principal filming for the first season and that all was left to do is reshoots what they were going to come back in April of 2021 and do and also that it would not affect the release date for season one. I'll have that full video linked in the description too if you want to watch it. The news was echoed by Weaves of the Wheel, another Wheel of Time news site and content creator. They reported that the production had been working extra time over the last two weeks to wrap up the filming because they were worried that the COVID situation would get worse and that they wanted to get it done so they weren't going to have any delays. Now, obviously, this does not seem to mesh with the reporting from WattSeries.com. Then, on November 6th, WattSeries.com posted information from the extra company that works with the Wheel of Time, stating that the series had been interrupted until April of 2021, further substantiating their initial claim that the show's filming had been shut down. Now, there has been zero official announcement from Amazon or the production team, so all of this remains unconfirmed, but given that the director is home, some of the actors on the show, like Madeline Madden, who had posted from their home country, are also at home. This surely indicates that filming is not proceeding as of right now. So what does that all mean? Is there going to be a major delay to the Wheel of Time and they aren't coming back to film until April of 2021 and, oh my gosh, we might not get it till 2022? The short answer is no. I don't think that either of these stories are really conflicting or, and neither of them are really mutually exclusive from the other. I think they're both accurate. And from what I'm told, I think that they probably both are accurate. I think the production team saw the writing on the wall. 
that filming in Prague as COVID cases were climbing substantially. And although they were given permission by the Czech government to continue filming, I don't think they wanted either another forced shutdown or the fact that somebody got sick and they were forced to shut down. So what they did was they worked overtime. They tried to finish principal filming as fast as they could. They worked through the night. And that's looking like what they did. Then when they got principal filming finished, they sent everybody home. Really that way now they can work on post-production. Reshoots typically happen after the fact anyway, so that would make sense to come back later on after COVID has settled down, after they finished most of the post-production, which again would be April of 2021. Since there will be very little to do after that, the post-production work should not be an issue. So I don't think that's actually going to affect the release date for the show. Now, what this does tell us, in my opinion, is that the show was not set for an early summer release as I had predicted, and I think that we're probably either going to see a late summer release or more likely a fall of 2021 release. The other thing to take from this is that it's entirely possible with the crew and actors coming back in April of 2021, they could be filming season two at that point. It would not be out of the ordinary, and it's very likely that those scripts have been completely finished as they were working on them prior to the shutdown. So while season two has not been totally confirmed, it's a high likelihood given the massive budget for the show's first season and the cost of even acquiring the rights in the first place. So what do you think about the show? When do you think it gets released? And also let me know what you think of Brandon Sanderson's comments on the Wheel of Time and, and whether or not more Wheel of Time books should be written. Let's get the discussion going in comments of this video. Also, as I mentioned earlier, Patreon is truly the best way to support the channel. Your support keeps this community, thegreatblight.com, and the channel growing. And it's going to be more and more needed as we get closer to the launch of the show. We want to be in a position to have outstanding content and platforms for all of these new fans to come and use. And that involves hiring a few people to do it properly. If you love what we do, please consider sponsoring the channel monthly on Patreon. You can start with as little as $5 a month, and even that amount goes a long way. You can check out some of the other Patreon awards there for some of the higher tiers as well. If you aren't in a position to support financially and you want to help, make sure to join the Discord server. We're still taking volunteers for writing on the wiki and overall contributing to thegreatblight.com. The wiki is growing like crazy with new articles being added all the time. We could use your help if you're interested. Anyways, thanks to all of you that already support the channel in some fashion. You guys are so appreciated. Thank you so much. Make sure to follow me on Twitter at BlissNay and my Twitch at WattNablis or twitch.tv forward slash WattNablis. And stay tuned for live streams there. Like this video if you liked it and make sure to subscribe to the channel to be updated on all things Wheel of Time and upcoming lore deep dives as well. A good 50% of you that watch my videos are still not subscribed. So smash that subscribe button, smash that like button. Thanks for watching guys. Until next time, peace out. Tinker in the kitchen with a job of work to do Mistress up above, slipping on a rope of blue She prances down the staircase, a fancy oh so free Crying, Tinker, oh dear Tinker, won't you mend a pot for me?